from the Fastener Lab and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Rhino file for basic laser cutting and engraving. And what I want to do is I want to take this image, put it into Rhino, and eventually what I want to do is cut this out of a piece of wood and I want to engrave the eyes and I want to add some text and stuff. So the first step to doing that is I'm going to type in the command picture frame. This will allow us to bring an image into Rhino and we can also adjust the size and scale of it. So I'm just going to find the image, open it. Now Rhino is going to ask for a first point of reference for the lower left hand corner of the image. Now I can click anywhere in the screen but I would like to reference something pretty simple. So I'm just going to say zero and that'll make our first point the coordinate system of this view. Uh, now I can change the scale, the orientation of it, but again, I want to be kind of precise about this. So I'm going to type in the length of the image or the length of that lower edge. I'm going to say three. You can see it's changed its scale and I can change its orientation. But if I hold shift down, I can align that edge with the X or Y axis. So I'm going to align it with the X axis and our image has popped up. It's a PNG, so we can see that some of these areas are blank. So now that we have our image, what we can do is we can use our line tools to start to outline everything, the eyes, the mouth, all that stuff. So I already have outlined the image, so I'm going to come over here and turn off that image. And I've got my outline layer already selected so you can see that I have the outline. Now I also wanted to add text to this object so I'm going to go ahead and turn that layer on and you can see that I've added this text. You can do that with the text object and one thing I want to do is I want all my words to be one single object when it gets cut out. I also want it connected to the head so I'm just going to move that down. Now one thing to be aware of when you're laser cutting is that the laser will read any black line when you do vector cutting as a cut. So with this word, where the letters connect, these lines here, the laser will read that as a cut and it will cut those lines. So I won't actually have one single object as I would like. It will be a bunch of letters that are cut out. So what I have to do is I have to tell the laser that I want these lines to be engraved so that I can still read the text and I don't want them cut out. And the nice thing about the epilogue laser is there's a feature called color mapping so that different colors can be changed to engrave only or cut only. And what I can do is in here is I can change the color of these lines and then when I am actually setting up the laser I can change the colors to represent engraving only or cutting only and things like that. So I have to change the color of these lines and because I want this word attached to the head I'm going to have to split these lines up and then also change the color of those lines. Now down here with this word I've already done that. You can see right now everything's black so everything's going to be cut out. And we see that, you know, it's kind of hard to read. We don't know where some letters end and where they begin. Now, if I come over here to my layers and I look at name sections, I can turn that on. And we can see the lines I've already changed to a different color, which are in a different layer. And now it's easier to read the word, but I can also, it will also engrave these green lines when I set up my properties in the laser and it will cut the black. So that's what I need to do up here is just find which lines are going to be overlapping, which lines I don't want to be cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split these lines down here because I don't want them to be cut out of the head. So I'm going to select all the lines that are inside the head and I'm going to split them. Now also I don't want this line to be, this outline of the head to cut out these letters. So I'm going to split this as well. You 
Now this one I actually forgot to split because it needs to be engraved as well. This one, this section. So now that I've got these split, I can select all the lines. Oh, I also forgot that one. Even though it will still remain green. So I'm going to select all the lines inside the head. And these lines, I'm going to change uh, the layer, change object layer, and I'm going to change it to the name sections. So there we go. So now all of these lines, when I set up my file for uh, laser cutting, or they will be engraved instead of cut. And these lines, I can actually just get rid of the lines of the head that are in the letters. There we go. Now I can also change the lines, the overlapping lines from the letters, and change those to the engraving layer. So I can layer, change object layer, and there we go. And so that way I have a single cut going around the outline and the way we can check that is I'll just hide the green layer. I'll select this layer. I'll hide that green layer. Now right now these are all individual lines. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to join them. Now I should be left with one exterior line when I click this. And we can see when I go to cut this, it's going to cut everything on the outside. So that's exactly what I want. And all of these should be closed, which is good. The next step is I want to create the face for our engraving. And if I go up here and turn this layer on, I can see that I've actually already done most of it. And these are actually solid blocks of color. And I'll show you an example with that because I'm going to give this guy a face tattoo. So this is the symbol that I want tattooed on his face. And I want this to be a solid color because I don't want this engraved. Or I don't want this cut. I want this engraved as one solid block. The easiest way to do that is to select the shape that you want, come up here to drafting, and click on hatch. Hatch will fill a space with a pattern or a solid color. Default is a solid color, so I'm going to hit OK. Now I want to make sure that these lines that are left over, the outline of this shape, is hidden because if I don't set up my properties correctly in the laser, it might actually cut those out. So what I've done is I've actually just changed them to a different layer, and I've also changed this block to a different layer. I'm just going to delete that for now and show you that I have it in a different layer and hide those lines. So now I've got these blocks ready to engrave, these solid areas. I've got the green lines. One thing you want to be aware of is color, because it's color mapping. You want to make sure that you remember which color these are, what, what the actual code is, because the way the color mapping works is an RGB code. So right now the blue is just all blue, just 255. Now you can remember, you can change the color, but you have to remember these specific codes, these numbers. And just to keep it simple, just go all blue, all green, all red. If you have any more colors than that, then you're going to have to start writing them down. So we're good to go here, but one last thing I want to do is I want to set up the area. Like I want to know how big this object actually is and how much material I'm actually going to need. So I'm going to just create a box around this object and I'm going to make sure I'm on my on the right layer of this box. I'm going to pick point to point and I'm just going to roughly map out how big this is. And I want to make it a little bit bigger because I don't want to be actually cutting on the edge of something or the edge of my material. So I'm going to make it that big. I'm just going to reposition it so it's roughly in the middle. So I've got the box. This is roughly how much material I'm going to use up. 
Now you want to know the size of this. So I'm going to go up here to dimensions. I'm going to do linear dimensions. I'm going to make sure my snaps are on. So I'm just going to see what size that is. See what the height and length are. So what I have is roughly five and a half by three and a quarter for my material. And I'm just going to leave this up leave this in the file so that when I bring it over there it's just a good reference. Now none of this will actually be cut out and I'll show you why that is in the next video of setting up my printer properties or essentially my laser properties. So now my file is good to go. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save it to my network drive so that it's easy to access when I'm over in the digital fab lab. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching.